Hello friends, this is Priya. Welcome to ValueTrainings.com. Today under SOAP UI training, I am going to start how SOAP protocol works with XML. So before starting how actually SOAP works, we should know about all these concepts. Okay, so I'll start with the very basic concepts and the very first concept, what is a SOAP protocol? Let's see. As in my last session, I did tell you SOAP is my messaging protocol and it stands for simple object access protocol okay and it is one of the messaging protocol which actually allows communication to become possible between two different applications as in my last session i did show you the example this this example in this what is actually performing from the browser request is i'm sending to the server and from the server i'm getting back the response right so what is actually going to work behind the scenes here somewhere my soap or rest will be present and in one of the language xml or json i'm going to send my message right this all thing i did explain in my last session okay now the next thing is how is this communication is possible this communication is possible because of soap and soap will be present somewhere over here which will tell how to send and which will assign some set of rules to the message okay so this come back let's come back to the same thing this is one of the messaging protocol and which actually allows the communication to become possible okay so now let's see what soap actually contains what is present within my soap protocol so here it is soap actually consists of three parts okay so the first one is the this one the soap actually contains with a soap envelope and inside the soap envelope two more things are present soap header and soap body okay so what is present within soap what is present within header we'll understand we'll work on to that but before this you must know how is soap is going to send its message if i said that soap is the protocol which i am using then surely there is something which is soap envelope and there will be a something which is soap header and soap body right and, and one more thing in my last in my last example i did tell you that language which it is going to use maybe it is xml or maybe it is json but one thing is sure one of the one of the language which i am going to use will be placed somewhere over here okay and one more thing if it is so then which language i'm going to use say if it is so then soap is going to work with xml okay and about xml i have also told you about it is going to work within tags so now let's talk about xml what is present within xml and how it looks okay so if i say what soap contains okay uh, let us write here soap actually contains soap envelope and within soap envelope soap header is there as well as soap body is there okay and what is present inside them we'll work we'll understand we'll learn what is present so before this how xml works and what xml contains these two things let us discuss what xml contains firstly if i say about this it actually contains tags okay and what kind of tags it's a start tag and the end tag right i explained all these things in my last session and when the condition behind uh, the, uh, the condition behind xml working is the start tag and the end tag should be same Say if my tag name is name, and if I say it's the how it looks name, and here in between data will be present. And for the data, what I'll use? Let's say if I write Priya. Okay, and here's the data. Okay, so the actually it looks like this. My XML, how it looks? It is here. Okay. So now what XML contains, it contains tags. Now let's see how XML works. Okay, if you see here, I have already made two of the files. 
which is uh, of the XML request and the XML response. Let's come back and look at it also. Okay. So what is present in, inside this? See, only tags are there. From city is my start tag and the from city is If I say, so if I say this is one of my tags, so what is the start tag and end tag? Tag name is same from city. And what's the value? It's Delhi. Okay, one thing I need to change it. Uh, this example we have used in my last session. Right. So this thing is over here. So the uh, from city and from city with uh, forward slashes, my end tag. And passengers, everything is in a right format, right? So only the thing which I did changes, I am here using the extension as XML. So now it is my XML document. And if I open, it will be opened in the browser and it will look like this. Okay, so this is the complete syntax. So how XML looks? It will contain the XML request. This is what? This is my parent tab. And these all are the child tags under my XML request as a parent tab. Okay, and if I open the XML response, it will look like this, right? And now if I say what I'm going to send on the back end, actually the request and response contains tags and that tags uh, will look like these tags. Okay, so this is all about XML, what is present inside the XML and how it looks. Now, the next thing is about... How, what XML contains? It contains only request and the tags and this. Okay, and how XML works? XML is going to work in the request and response spheres. Okay, whenever I send request, I will get response corresponding to that request from those only who satisfy the condition for which the user is demanding. Understand? So this is all about how XML works. Okay. And if I see what XML contains, it's covered. Okay. Now let's cover, come to this topic. How SOAP looks with XML. Uh, in the same example, if I say this is my, uh, the, the how my SOAP protocol actually looks. Now if I want to relate my SOAP with XML, so how I can relate? Because XML is the only language within which SOAP protocol actually works. Okay. So SOAP with XML. I do have two options XML and JSON to communicate. But SOAP only works with SOAP only works with XML. Okay. So these are the two ways to communicate. Fine. So now let's see how SOAP works with XML. If I say it is SOAP envelope and under soap envelope it's soap header that thing i was explaining and how it looks and in this it's soap body so if i say it consists of it is going to work with xml then it will come with tags right this is the only condition of xml okay and the uh, soap contains envelope within envelope it's header and body Okay, and SOAP envelope will be my parent tag and inside this it's envelope. Okay, so SOAP envelope starts and SOAP envelope ends. So what about SOAP header? SOAP header starts and SOAP headers end. What about SOAP body? Same thing. If it is XML then surely it will consist of tags. Then soap body okay so it contains all these tags and inside these some more tags more tags will be there okay tags and tags okay so this is how my soap actually looks with the xml okay soap envelope soap header now, if I want, if I show you the real SOAP example, how it will look. See, this is SOAP request. Okay. So, this is the actual request of SOAP, which I am going to send to my server. 
okay this is what this is the request and how to decide if it is request if it is so if it is my response then it depends on the server and when you will work you will understand okay you will understand all these things when we'll work so what is the task see soap envelope starts many more things related to the version of xml are there you know you need need you need not to understand you need not to learn about all these things these all things will come on its own in soap ui as a tool on which we'll work okay soap envelope tag starts from here and it ends over here and inside soap envelope inside soap envelope we do have header okay this is my complete envelope okay and within this okay soap header is empty tag okay this, uh, this these are the concepts of xml and these uh, this is my for soap body okay so within soap envelope we do have header we do have body and this is my request which i am sending and what is present within my body tags as a tags see under these username and password credentials these all are the tags as i said many more tags will be will come inside the tags inside the parent tag so so body is my parent tag for username password credentials and credential is my parent tag for username and password many more things are there you will understand when you will work okay so this is all about how soap looks so what about a uh, response soap request it was for soap request what about soap response it will be here again soap if it is soap then it is xml if it is soap with xml then tags will be there soap envelope starts soap envelope ends then the body is also there soap envelope with a body this one so this is the response okay and within response i do have many more tags session id is there username login username is there with which i am logging so my username role login status many more things are coming okay and inside this it's return as my tag so for username and password return is my parent tag understand so this is all about how my soap actually looks and how it works so what i'm going to send on to the browser what i'm going to send to the from browser side i'm going to send okay it's last topic how soap protocol works from browser i am going to send a request the same thing which i said for xml and from server i will get back the response okay so this is all about the things which we should know before moving on to the training okay and yes it's done thank you